Hello guys and welcome back to uh, part 24 of my DVD collection video. This is an ongoing series. If you didn't, if you didn't know, right? Coming up now is going to be a very short episode because uh, this is only going to be uh, this is only going to be uh, DVDs with wrestlers in. So and a few others that link up to those ones. First, I have. Uh, the Secret Agent Club, which is a Hulk Hogan movie. No, it's an okay movie. No, it's an okay movie. Then we have uh, The Ultimate Weapon, another Hulk Hogan movie. Hulk Hogan looks weird in this. He just doesn't look like Hulk Hogan. He kind of looks like Sting. Then we have... Uh, not a, not a movie wrestler in, but it links to one, which is the very first behind enemy lines. I did previously show this in one of my previous videos, which this is gonna to go to a side so I can sell it because I'm I've got I got this again in the uh, box set with behind enemy lines too, and there's the one that ties in with it with Mr. Kennedy in behind enemy lines Columbia. Definitely a good series of movies. I've never seen the sequel to behind enemy lines because I always thought. The sequel to Behind Enemy Lines was uh, Columbia. Now we have uh, some Stone Cold Steve Austin movies. We have The Condempt. This is a very good uh, Stone Cold movie. One of his best. Most likely his best movie. A Stone Cold Steve Austin movie. We have uh, another Steve Austin movie which is Damaged. Where he plays a... Uh, oh, it's kind of like... Uh, Underground scenes in no holes. It's kind of like like. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a bit like Fight Club in a way because they're underground fighting and stuff. But a lot different to Fight Club in terms of the plot. So there's that one. We have uh, another one. We have this one. The sh the that one. This one. I'm sorry, I can't say much about the movies really because a long time since I watched them. But they're just. Action movies, if you like the action movies, you most likely like these movies. And if you like Stone Cold, you like the movies. There's another one with Danny Trejo in. Um, now, now we go to uh, the Scorpion King movies with The Rock in. And these are in story order, which is not the names of them. But not, right. Here, first we have Scorpion King 2, which doesn't have none of the actors from the original Scorpion King. That's not even the Scorpion King 2 because it's a prequel. Don't call it Scorpion King 2. Then we have uh, The Mummy with Brendan Fraser in. Definitely a good movie. This is what links up to uh, The Scorpion King, The Rock's very first movie, Haku Mashente. This is a very good movie. I've seen this movie so many times. It's, it's like one of my favourite rock movies he's ever done because it's his first one. And it's his first one and still one of his favourite. So one of my favourites, I mean, and uh, I don't think you can beat the Scorpion King. And next we have uh, The Mummy Returns. This is a widescreen ultimate two-disc DVD. This is The Mummy Returns. Which, uh... There you go. Also, and then we have Mummy... Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, not really a great one in the franchise, the best two of the first two. And we have one that links to uh, Scorpion King 2, uh, which, is, which is actually the proper sequel to Scorpion King, which this should be Scorpion King 2, but uh, still not as good, still not as good as... Ron Jeremy plays a good... Uh, Ron, uh, Ron Burgundy plays a good uh, role in this movie. So there you go. So there goes Ron, Ron in his movie, and uh, I remember, yeah, Batista's in this one, and he 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 does good in this. Didn't use him a lot really. Anyway, and next I got uh, Welcome to the Jungle, one of the Rock's uh, best movies in my opinion. Definitely would uh, recommend this if you like the Rock. So uh, go out and watch this. It's about him going to a jungle. Then we have the uh, the Rock walking tour, 
I thought this movie wasn't long enough. It, it should be longer. It's one hour and thirty three minutes, but it doesn't seem like it doesn't really seem like one hour when you watch it. Then we have the sequel to Walking Tall. Yes, there is a sequel, a pathetic sequel, mind you. It Walking Tall, the payback. Don't watch this movie, but if you must watch it. Then we have Doom, based off the video game. Not a lot of people like this movie. Then we have a uh, grid gridline gang with uh, fifty cent in it. Fifty cent? Yeah, I think it's fifty cent in this. No, no, not fifty cent. Sorry, exhibit. Just getting confused. Exhibit. This is about. Uh, this is based off a true story about the. Uh, if I remember rightly, it's a it's, it's prison prison footballers or whatever it was. Now we have one of my we would say like your pleasure rock movie. It's like the uh, Two Fairy because it's like kind of funny. I have seen the sequel to Two Fairy. It's not as good. Then we have a race. Sorry, race to Witch Mountain. Another rock movie here. Then we have. Uh, that's a, that's a good movie as well. Then we have uh, Faster. Faster could have been a lot better in my opinion because they got a car and they didn't use it. Uh, they should have done more with this car because he gets in the car and check. If you want a car movie, this is not the movie you're looking for. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video, whatever the next video will be. The next video most likely is going to be uh, Lee Francis and uh, Ricky Gervais DVDs. So thanks for watching this part, see you in the next one.